Now imagine if Black Ops 1 had score streaks instead of kill streaks. Imagine that. That's something Black Ops 2 did so well, man. That's something Black Ops 2 bought that was so new and, you know, innovative to the game. Score streaks was a good idea. Now imagine we had a Call of Duty that had both score streak and kill streak. Like you got to pick between the classes, like your classes, you get to put score streak this time or kill streak. And based on the, you know, if you pick score streak or kill streak, you got to, you know, pick different, you know, streaks. Like say like dogs would be in kill streak and uh, AC-130 would be on a, a, you know, score streak or a kill streak. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that, that would have been so cool. By the way, that's an idea for Activision to take freely. Activision, take that idea. <laughs> That is, that is a good idea, at least I think, in my opinion. Now, we're not here to speak on UAVs and streaks. We are here to speak on uh, perks. Now, MW2022 uh, is, you know, having some bad news. Some very bad news have come out for MW2 2022. Those would be saying, oh, you know, uh, uh, you know, MW2 is going to be good. You haven't even played it, right? Those who be defending that way. Now, those who really enjoy or love Activision so much, even your own developer, your own publisher is not even listening to what you're saying. So remember, we've been asking Ninja to be a perk. Remember when we asked that Ninja to be a perk? Now, Activision been putting their hand, their fingers in their ears and yelling, you know, you know, back then how kids, when they didn't want to hear you, they would put their fingers in their ear, la, 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 and they'll go on just so they wouldn't hear what you said. That's what Activision is doing to the community right now. Look at the perks. I'll put it on the screen. Look at the perks that are coming back to um, MW, from MW 2019 to MW2, right? I see ghosts in there. I see cold blooded, but that raises the question where is ninja somebody asked where is ninja and guess what the guy said it's going to be a field upgrade again oh my goodness how many times must we beg how much how hard is it just to make ninja a perk ninja has been a perk in the other games why in the world do they make ninja a field upgrade again how many times must we ask for the same thing you guys you guys who buy the game, how do you guys bear with this? How do you guys, you know, play the game without Ninja, without them listening to what you guys say? How do you guys do this? I do not understand how people do this. How do you buy a game $60, but the publisher, nor even the uh, uh, developers even listen to what you say? How do you spend 70 bucks on something like this? This is insane. We've been asking, if you know MW 2019, you know for a fact that you cannot move camping is the number one thing you must do man. because uh dead silence or ninja sorry ninja was a a field upgrade we you can't move around you know the footsteps were loud if you played mw 2019 now that's that but for me that's what i enjoy about the old games speaking of camping that's what i enjoy about the old games you could do both you could rush and you could camp you could do both if you wanted to now people would get mad at camping but that's them sometime i want to you know play campy i want to make somebody mad i'll play campy <laughs> right sometimes camping is fun but sometimes you gotta rush too you gotta have you have to have both in there you can't just have one dominate the other one you have to have both in there now that's one of the big problem of mw 2019 and i cannot believe mw2 will come back with that again with a field upgrade being oh man it just doesn't even make sense i mean uh, like i said in the last video can we get a good shooter please i've you I mean maybe this was for a good thing like i said maybe call of duty being bad is a good thing because look at me i'm playing other games because cod is terrible because call of duty is bad as of right now I've branched out and played other games. I would have never played Elden Ring. I would have never played Dark Souls 3 if it wasn't for, you know, uh, me having uh, me. Oh, and that guy just took my streak away like that. <laughs> I know I was camping, but man, I was close to dogs. <laughs> that hurt right there. That right there hurt. But that's because I was camping. I, I guess I give myself, you know, that's the punishment I get. But that's besides the point. If it, <laughs> if it wasn't for God being bad. I wouldn't be branching out. And where did that guy come from? Right there. 
but I wouldn't be branching out and, you know, playing other games if COD didn't suck. But my goodness, I would like to have COD too. You know, I would have to like, I would love to play, you know, at least I'm enjoying Black Ops 1. I'll say that Black Ops 1 is so good, but I would love to enjoy a new COD, you know, with the graphics they got now. You know what I'm saying? I would love to play the new CODs too, but I can't because they won't listen and they won't, you know, put what you know we need in the game why put this garbage thing in there why make dead silence uh field upgrade again god this is already confirmed mw2 is going to be the same as mw 2019 you can't move you have to you know stay behind the door you know camp as hard as you can with a shotgun and if you have claymores put claymores down it's the same thing and the thing is uh i wouldn't mind camping if you could also rush but camping dominates the game let's be honest if you played mw 2019 in this prime camping dominated the game it did it really did and i can't believe people really still defending this this company as of t like now like still as they doing all of this as they you know going on uh making mistakes after mistake after mistake and not listening to their own community people are still Still to this day supporting these guys and i can't purchase uh, i mean i can't you know agree with i cannot you know sit there and not say anything because this is not fair to the community this is not fair to any of us is it especially the ogs man the people that's been with cods for a long time and i can't believe they rather not listen and do their own thing do they make more money? I, I guess I, I guess I think I know what they're doing. I guess I understand what they're doing. They're trying to drive out six v six and make Warzone the priority. I guess that's the that's the move now. That's what they're trying to do. <sighs> you guys, let me know what y'all think about this, man. Those who enjoy MW twenty nineteen will enjoy this one. Those who hated MW twenty nineteen will hate this game for sure. Uh, you guys, let me know what y'all think. Uh, like and subscribe do what you got to do if you dislike the video dislike if you like the video like the video let me know what you think let me know what i miss in the comments comment what you think and i'll see you guys in another video okay Hey, hey, hey.